Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I wanted to share with you the newest mod that I got for my Y. It is not a performance part, but it is something to make my life a lot more convenient. And that mod is the MagBack wireless MagSafe phone charger holder and the MagBack case for my iPhone 13 Pro. So the problem I ran into was I had already bought one when I first got my Y and I kept running into issues where the, well for one it took an, a metal adhesive plate that stuck to the back of my phone and in doing so it prevented me from wirelessly charging my phone. So that was a big problem for me. Uh, the other thing was that the metal plate kept unsticking from my case and my phone would fall down if I would hit a bump on the road. So I had to get rid of it. I actually had to return it. I asked a bunch of buddies what, what their favorite one was. They said it was the MagBack. And so today I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's inside and how we install it on my Model Y. All right, so we got our MagSafe case. Pop this in. All right, good to go. Then you've got an extra piece of adhesive. You've got a magnet here. In the event that you wanna put this on your wall or another vehicle that you might have, it is magnetic as you can see. So you've got those pieces. You've got another alcohol pad so you can clean the surface when you install this in, in your vehicle, in my case, the Tesla Model Y. You've got a cigarette lighter charger plug in case you don't have a USB port in your vehicle. An extra piece of adhesive in case you mess up. And that's about it. Let's get out to my Model Y and show you guys how to install it. All right, so we're in my Y. We've got my alcohol pad. We've got the wireless charger and holder. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the back of your screen here. It will basically sit right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. I'm gonna open this up. All right, get the alcohol pad open and just clean the back of your screen surface. All right. Let's go ahead and peel the adhesive off. Make sure you position this right side up. You can see the writing here. Cord hangs down. I've already removed it so the adhesive is exposed. We're gonna go ahead and line up your corners. So what I'd like to do is I'll actually stick this onto the, the rounded edge first and then push it back. See if you can get a good stick. Looks good. The next thing we're gonna want to do is get this wire routed. All right, so now we just gotta route the wire. So what I did was I tucked it under here. Part of the screen, the actual neck of the screen bracket here. You can tuck it in behind there. Probably be hard for you to see. And then from there, I'm gonna just chase it down and just follow this little seam between the panels. Tuck it in behind. There's actually a place behind this where it can tuck in. Get all the way behind this. And you can see here where I'm tucking it in behind. And then right back here, you can actually get the wire to go all the way back behind this panel, all the way back behind here, and then run the wire all the way through this hole so you won't even see it. All right, so let's grab this. And then you have the option of jumping over and connecting this in here to your USB-C on a Model Y, or 
In my case, I don't want to do that because I do have a tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cigarette lighter and plug it in there. So we'll do this. We'll plug this in. We'll go facing up because we're particular. And continue tucking this wire. And you may have to move your seat out of the way. Get this tucked in. And let's see if we can get this thing to close. It does close and, and there you go. So you just got a little wire jumping. I might later do something in here. Can remove this or pop a hole and run the wire directly in through it or run it in through here. That's something that's not too hard to do. So when we decide to do that, we can show you that later. All right, moment of truth. We have power, awesome, it's working. So I'm about to head on a road trip and I'll let you guys know how well this thing stays in place. Uh, and so yeah, I'll get back with you once I finish the road trip. All right, everyone, so I got back from my road trip and I gotta say, this thing held on to my phone really, really well. So we went over railroad tracks and everything and um, this thing, I've gotten pretty used to it. It's great, charges my phone. Uh, it's got the perfect position for me to be able to go in here and swipe. Um, for example, you know, FaceTiming is great like this. So, you know, I, I really enjoyed this thing. Uh, I love the fact that you can actually even put it into a landscape mode. Um, so that was that was awesome. I've had another case uh, before and another um, phone mount system in my Model 3, which I'll show you. That's actually next to us. Um, it's a little bit inconvenient because it it's cool, but it, it clamps the phone. And that just became inconvenient because when I need to release the phone, I got to push a button and then pull the phone out. This thing is just super easy and seamless. I mean, it's just really, really great. The Magback team has been awesome. The support's been really great from them. Um, like I said, it's a perfect position. I can get in here with my hands. I can go, I can FaceTime. It does the Face ID perfectly. So it's super fast. Um, but yeah, I, I can't say how much I like it. Uh, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my Model 3 and you guys can check out what, what that one is like and what it came from. So let's, let's go check out my Model 3. All right, so we're in my Model 3 and you can check out what I had before. I mean, it would, it's cool because it would sense that the phone's in there, it does charge it, it would clamp it, but whenever I need to remove the phone, I gotta push this button to pull it out and then go back in. So, I mean, it's still pretty neat, but it's not as seamless and simple of a design as what I have in the Model Y from Magback. So, I love that. Um, the other downside to this is I can't rotate. I can't go to landscape. So. That kind of sucked. I really, really like that about the, the mag back. So if I'm in a parking lot or I'm waiting for anything, I can literally just put my phone in there and you know watch something if, if I can't pull it up on my toy box on my Tesla. But uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. And the mag back on the Model Y is, is great. I've got buddies who race their cars and they have mag backs um, and they'll use their phone and it just doesn't fall off. And these guys are hitting curves at the track and it just, it just sticks, it, it works really well. The magnet is just super strong and it's, it's super seamless. Look how clean this case is. So again, thanks Magback. If you guys are interested in this product here from Magback, check out this coupon code. I'll put it in the description below. It's ZEV15, so ZEV15 for 15% off on Magback. It'd be great to support these guys, support us. Uh, once again, Magback, thanks uh, for, for producing a great product. And, and again, guys, Zev15 to get 15% off. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoy the information we provide you and the reviews on our products. See you next time.